What's up with you guys? I'm being asked very frequently, how can I get into a cybersecurity career? What certification do I need to gain? What's your recommendation, Yaniv? Or do I need a technical background into cybersecurity? So I decided to do a brief video about it. If you are new to this channel, my name is Yaniv Hoffman and I am an IT and cybersecurity professional. I started this channel to share my passion for technology and cybersecurity with all of you. If you like such content and want to see even more, please subscribe and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Let's roll it up. As the world continues to advance, there are multiple career streams that emerge. Maybe one of the most popular professions now is cybersecurity. And according to Cybersecurity Magazine, cybersecurity talent crunched to create 3.5 million unfiled jobs globally by 2021. 350% growth in open cybersecurity positions from 2013 to 2021. According to the U.S. Bureau of Statistical Labor Information Security Analyst, you must say it's a very long uh, name to remember, cybersecurity jobs are among the fastest growing careers area nationwide. Cybersecurity's fastest growing skill areas reflect the high priority organization placed on building secure digital infrastructure that can scale. Application development security and cloud security are far and away from the fastest growing skills area in cybersecurity, with projected five years growth of 164 and 115% respectively. This underscores the shift from retroactive security strategies to proactive security strategies. There are multiple roles that you can take as a cybersecurity professional, like Chief Information Security Officer, Cyber Security Specialist, Cyber Security Analyst, Penetration Tester, Cyber Security Engineer, Cyber Security Operation Center Analyst, Vulnerability uh, Assessment Engineer, and Security uh, Software Developer, and so on. Yet, I must emphasize, the necessity for a technical background is not a must. And there are many other roles that non-technical people can take, like product management, program management, project management, customer success managers, and so on. So the path you take upon yourself to enter a career in cybersecurity mostly depends on the background you come with. So mostly or usually people with background of math, or science and computer science, or IT, are the ones that are mostly natively attractive into cybersecurity. But as I mentioned before, not only, even if you learn psychology, or you learn operations, or you learn business analytics, these are also professions that are required as part of the, the cybersecurity assessment. So in reality, it's open to a broad variety of people that can contribute and can build their career in cybersecurity. For a few years now, certifications are becoming a stepping stone for people that would like to grow in their roles. So I've collected my top seven certificate in case you want to get into the cybersecurity space. First one is Security Plus, offered by CompTIA. This is an entry-level certification. It teaches you core skills needed for a wide variety of roles, cloud security, vulnerability assessment, overall security posture of IoT devices, mobile communication security, and few of these kinds of skills. 
The certification also deals with making students understand the core regulation when it comes to security. Immediate response reactions are also presented to the candidates of this certification. You can become a cloud security engineer, security administrator, software security developer, and such jobs. Number two, certified ethical hacker or CEH. Out of all certifications, this is the most amusing one, in my opinion at least. This certificate makes you a certified white hat hacker. Ethical hacking is a type of hacking which is done for the better of the target system. It is done to discover potential threats that those systems are exposed to. This is done by learning hacking techniques and exploiting existing vulnerabilities. With this certification, you can become a pen tester, cyber incident analyst, cyber security engineer, threat intelligence analyst. Number three is GIAC, Security Essential Certification, or GSEC. This certification is also designed for le level entry professionals who wish to make a career in cybersecurity. It enlightens the participations with the background of cybersecurity and why do we need professionals in it. Once you get the certificate, you will have the following skills. Active defense, network security, cloud security, cryptography, and incident response. For this certification, there is no set of specific requirements. However, the knowledge of computers is a must. Number four. Certified Information Security Manager, or CISM. This is also offered by ISACA. This certification focuses on the managerial side of information security and cybersecurity career. This certification makes you eligible for jobs like Data Governance Manager, Director of Information Security, in addition to the other cybersecurity professional jobs that you can do. For this certification, if you hold a graduate degree in the same field, then you are eligible within around three years of IT security experience. Number five, System Security Certified Partitioner, SSCP. This is a medium level certificate for people who wish to excel in cybersecurity profession. You will gain skills like designing and implementing secured IT infrastructure. The exam Access the candidates with the access controls, risk identification, security administration, communication systems, application security, incident response, cryptography, and network security. Number six, Certified Information System Security Professional, or CISSP. IT is ranked as the top most certification in the cybersecurity and information security domain. Once you have earned this certification, you are now considered capable enough to implement, monitor, and design a cybersecurity method. To start this certification, you must have a work experience of five years or more. There are eight domains in cybersecurity you must have experience in two of the following. Security and risk management, communication and network security, assessed security, security operation, and software development security, security architecture and engineering, and identity and access management, security assessment, and last but not least, testing. Number seven, certified information systems auditor, or CISA. The IT professional association, ISACA, offers CISA. With this certification, the students or professionals are taught to assess vulnerabilities designing and implementation of controls, reporting and compliance. It is also considered as one of the best certifications for cybersecurity professionals. After this certification, you can work as an IT audit manager, IT project manager, compliance program manager, IT security engineer, cybersecurity auditor, information security analyst, and the requirements for these certificates are the candidate must have at least five years of experience in the IT field, and if the candidate holds a college degree, two or four years, it can be substituted for two years of experience. Entering any profession requires a lot of planning and patience. So what do I suggest is to get into it, 
Try to understand what you want to do, where you are much uh, stronger. Read about it. Talk to people in the industry, people that are part of the cybersecurity community. Watch YouTube's films about cybersecurity. Maybe participate in cybersecurity events. I believe that this will shape your mind or where do you want uh, to go, what do you want to pursue. And based on that, you can enter or choose the right certificate to gain. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have more comments, you want to see more topics like that, you want more tour of topics, let me know. Leave your comment in the comment section. And until next time, see you.